Prince Harry's relationship with the royal family may be showing slight signs of warming up, but there remain fears in the firm that he will betray them again for money. Harry and his wife Meghan Markle have been trying to establish themselves as financially independent from the royals, however their biggest success so far has been the documentary about life in the royal family. Last week Harry had a cordial phone call with his father King Charles for his 75th birthday, with speculation that the family could reunite for the Christmas period. However, former royal butler Paul Burrell believes this will not be the case, as he said on behalf of Slingo, I think there is a very bad feeling in the royal family about Harry and Meghan that if they let them back into the royal fold they will be betrayed again. They see it as airing dirty laundry in public and telling tales in public when they know all too well that they shouldn't do that. He added, they see it as Harry now making money off the back of being royal which is wrong in their books. They have thrown other members of the family under the bus which is well documented now and you can't go back. Once you have done it you're out and I think Harry has to understand that. It's a cruel world but they have to be like that to survive and to not let one of their own prejudice the privileged world they live in. The Duke of Sussex also betrayed the late Queen Elizabeth's mantra of never complain, never explain, which Mr. Burrell claims he always knew would be a risk. The former butler also drew a comparison between Harry and his late mother Princess Diana, who suffered similar consequences of estrangement when she spoke out in her Panorama interview. Mr. Burrell continued, She had a troubled life trying to find a voice and that's what Harry's been trying to do, trying to find a voice and a place. Everybody makes mistakes but that was a huge mistake. Coming back to England, I wonder if he has thought how unpopular they are in their country and that will bring its own problems.